Hey, what's happening everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So tonight I said, I'm just going to have one beer. Just one beer. Right now it's 1038 Eastern, Monday night. I've actually got to get up the next day and go to work. So what's one beer? Well, that one beer is Lagunitas and they're socket to me. And this one beer comes in a 32 ounce bottle. Why you would want to put this in a 32 ounce bottle, I'm not really sure. This is probably one you want to look to share with a friend as it comes in at 9% ABV. And it's an ale made with sake, yeast, and rice. Well, I'm the only one here, so I don't have a friend to share it with. I'm going to have to just get through it, I guess. So let's get into the Lacanitas Sake to me. All right, so let's go ahead and get this baby open and see how this one actually uh, goes down. Now, of course, with Lagunitas bottles, not too much on the sides, nothing really in the back at all. Tells you on here, life is uncertain, don't sip. And this is part of the 2017 One Hitter series. So I actually got this a little while back and had it in the uh, the cellar and almost forgot about it, realized I needed to go in and drink this thing. So it's still in good shape, um, or it should be, I should say. But we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and crack the top on this one and see how it comes out. Good amount of can of smoke right out of the uh, the top there. Check out the pour. Pretty decent of a pour. Got a little busy at the end of it where it picked up a little bit more head, but the head itself came out to be about a. Uh, three finger head, I would say, but you got some nice clarity there. You can see through to the other side. Look at all that carbonation. Got the bubble streaming up nicely to that head, which sits pretty much as a white head. Some good foaminess. Might lace the glass nicely going down. It's got a nice smell on it. Now, the uh, IBU on this is a 42, so you are getting kind of a hoppy aroma in there. Almost has like a little bit of a pine feel. Kind of leaning towards like one of the uh, uh, IPAs for sure. Now it is an Imperial double IPA considered to be, and you still get a good amount of some of that fruitiness from the hops, kind of a citrusy type feel, a little bit of a tropical type feel in there. If I had to pick a dominant fruit, I would definitely say grapefruit, but really has that nice little bit of pineus, and then on the back end, picking up a little softness there from the malts. As far as the taste, goes down rather easily. A little bit of a chest burn on the uh, carbonation, but not overly carbonated. Has a little bit of a sweetness in there. Get that kind of a small feel, kind of like some of your adjunct type lagers. Has a nice refreshing quality to it. I could actually sit back and drink this on a warmer day as well. Almost has a little bit of a malt liquor type feel to it too. And two gulps at first, already down over halfway in the glass. So it is going down rather easily. Body-wise, I would say kind of a medium body. Not overly heavy, like I said. I mean, you can chug right through this rather easily. You're getting a little bit of a mouth feel, a little bit of a mouth coating taking place where I feel that sweetness in the mouth. You know, it's, it's kind of weird because I was thinking this was going to be more sweeter than it actually is. Because of them using the uh, the rice and everything in here and the sake type yeast, I was kind of wondering how it would come out feeling. But it does still have that kind of IPA quality for the uh, class that they have it in. So, very nice in that area. A little dryness on the back end as well. Do feel that in the mouth. Do have that bitterness. You will get that bitterness more on the finish than up front. But all in all, pretty decent uh, a beer. So Lagunitas is very tough to beat the value you get for their beers. And even something like this, I can't remember what I paid for, but at a 32 ounce bottle, it's not what you would pay on so many other beers that are out there. Oh, uh, before I finish pouring that all the way in, you can see some of the lacing there that took place on the glass. So it does lace pretty nicely. But uh, yeah, pretty pleased with this one. And like I said, I had to get it out of the cellar because I had so many beers. And if you've seen the cellar videos, you know how many beers I got down there. But the time I'm shooting this right now, I just came back from Columbus, uh, Ohio, and added more beers in the cellar. So the cellar is growing. And I'm trying to do my take my time and get stuff drink, uh, drunk, drank, drink, drunk, drank out of the cellar so that uh, 
I don't want things that are too much. But if you're going to seller, like I tell people, make sure you get a nice seller app. I actually use one called Seller from uh, the App Store. I think it's available on Droid too, but it's great for managing all your beers and working rotations. I'm able to go in there and say, oh, what parallels do I have or IPAs? I'm going to get out of the way, get those gone. Get all the stouts and stuff I have, knowing I can what I can sell or what I might want to drink earlier. So make sure you're organized if you try to do that. But as far as the socket to me, definitely say check this one out. If you've had this before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. But I would definitely, uh, I would say I would definitely drink it again. But it's a one hitter. So unless they happen to do something where they bring it back later, usually our one hitters are just out there that one time. Definitely glad I picked it up and definitely well worth it. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Remember, keep drinking those good craft beers. And there's always time to get your beer on. That all being said, I look forward to catching you guys next time. Cheers.